and what is up everyone in this video i'm going to be showing you how to play rek'sai like rank one like the best like a challenger and i think rek'sai after all the bug fixes is actually broken right now and i think she's really good lower the lower elo you are so she's really broken the build path i'm going to be going is stride breaker cleaver steric sunder sky i think this is a really strong build and it's really easy to use so right now for rek'sai i'm against jarban top is a volatile matchup bots not that easy to gank Starting path is going to be Red Krug's Raptors. I think you should do this path every game still, unless you really feel like there's nothing going on on the map. I still would say would say that she's a really good level 3 ganking jungler, so you always want to try for that. But it's not bad, for example, to try to full clear as well. But if you can do something level 3, try to do something level 3 is my mindset. So here I'm going to smite just to speed up W Burrow and click there so right now she's a bit bugged still but it's okay next patch it's going to change so her aoe knockup extremely good especially in 2v2s and 3v3s as i utilize that i will show you q is an auto attack reset so you always want to use it right after your auto attack you want to do auto attack q to maximize your damage here we're going to do raptor i'm always going to scan the map to see like if we're going to do a level 3 gank her early game is really strong her damage is a bit lower but once you get stride breaker her damage is quite high Serum against Jarvan. He is an early ganking jungler too, so I have to think about that. So I just look at the map. I think, okay, bot is quite easy to kill. Especially because once bot laners get level 2 in this situation, they generally do like to fight. And I just like to be aggressive. I like to do something before I default to something like farming. So in this example, I think we can just walk up and kill Thrash. So that's like a free kill. So I'm going to E over the wall, Q him, and just fast kill. And we are going to continue chasing. I'm going to burrow and then knock up and then we're going to get another kill there. Perfect. Easy level 3 gank. The reason why I did it, wave was in the middle. Remember we talked a lot about it. Is it a good angle to reverse gank? Is the wave in the middle? Are they really pushed up? Then it's hard. Are they getting pushed in? Then it's not good to gank, right? Here, we're going to go for the sword buy. We're going to get two swords. We're building into our item. Stride breaker, very strong. I usually go for like three swords early game. Then I go into like my TM at after. I think this is like a really strong early game buy. And you know, if you do for a gank, go for a gank like that. The other jungler starts bot side. He could invade you here. So this extra swords are really good for me to even fight here. So I'm going to be really, you know, I'm going to use my tremor sense, my vision to see. And then I'm going to unburl to check the camp. So, it, okay, he's not there, but it looks like he's here. So what we're going to do is actually go on him. I'm going to start with my E. I'm going to get the jacks to go in and really good damage there really good I'm really happy with that because a chunk means if i go on him again he is pretty much dead so there's no chance he's gonna get this crab i'm most likely just gonna smite it and then it's just over here if he wants to fight we can fight i don't have to fight him right so i can just play like this i think we can just kill here and then we can just keep going i have pots right so i'm gonna try oh okay maybe that was too much I should have just got out. <laughs> I honestly thought it was too much. I was like feeling it. I was, I was feeling it a bit too much. Here, like I said, you can go for the team at, or if you want to really maximize your early game, what I like to do sometimes is just get another another sword and like a dagger, another sword. I like to buy every component pretty much, like these four components before I like sort of like upgrade to, you know, these items just to sort of maximize my damage because team at this fast isn't the best. It's how I see it, but it's not bad to just rush the team out. But it's really up to you. It's all fine in the game. There, my combo, you know, you always want to E when it's red because it does the percent health damage, right? That's very important. And for skill order, we're going to be doing three points into the Q, into E max. I like it like that. I think it's fine like that. I'm really, I'm really big on that skill order. And this early game has been really spicy. So you can see like our farm is not that high. We're literally on void grubs before we're even finishing our next clear which is fine and you know rek'sai is a void grub jungler like you should always play for void grubs as rek'sai the reason why is you literally do it extremely fast you can keep reburying and just doing your damage to all the camps you do it very nicely and also it's really good for me because if you want to track junglers i'm gonna smite if you're paying attention i saw jarvin there at level four that tells me he started boss side right because he ended here and if he ends there, most likely he wouldn't really have a chance to sort of be in the Void Grub area, right? Because Jarvan wants to get his second Grump. That's usually the mindset of the jungler. That's why it's important to understand jungle tracking. If you like that, you definitely should check out my, my shorts and my YouTube 
videos as well. So here I'm going to just keep full clearing. I really need to put the time back into farming, right? We invested so much time into what I would like to say the whole phase of, you know, the whole Green King phase. Now it's kind of like the farm phase. I'm thinking about ganking her, so I'm going to look for a wall angle. We always want to sort of find these angles where we can go from a wall. Q and then auto and then QE. Very nice damage, very easy. This guy was six. So we had a really good angle with his, his ulti. And yeah, it's really about objectives. Bot lane's fighting. You know, Rek'Sai is very strong early game. So it's easy for us to make it there. I'm not sure if we can get a kill exactly, but I think I might be able to get one here as well. Here we're going to hit the Q and then go on the Thresh. Auto attack Q. Flash in to finish that off. So here I'm going to knock him up and then take my tunnel if I can. Unable to do that. That's okay though. It happens. You know, getting a kill, not bad. Not bad at all. Kaiser's is a bit strong right now. It looks like my bowling's inting even after I <clears throat> kind of carry them, but it's okay. My game plan should have been to try to kill Kaiser later. So, you know, she's really strong. So I'm going to look towards that as an option as us trying to kill the Kaiser will be really good for us. Going bot now wouldn't be the simplest decision, but I think she will try to dive here. So what I'm going to look for is the potential dive here is what I'm thinking. Especially since there's no one bot here. Very difficult to do it though if in that situation. I'm trying to get the wave here. I really want to get the wave. But Thresh is here too. And there's only so much you can actually do, so you always want to play smart as much as possible. Here I need six. I think if I get six, and then I'm in a really nice position. My Kaelin's not having a good time, but I think it's fine. Like I said, I got Void Grubs. I'm feeling pretty good about this game. I think Rick'Sai is ex exceptional at carrying games like this, where your teammate is just really crying all the time. The reason why is you're just really good and a high damage champion that's really strong. So my end goal right now is really, I, I want to shut down people. I want to shut down the Kai's. I think Kaiser's going too crazy would be really bad. I think Jarvin's quite weak. I think he didn't really do much in an early game. So I'm pretty happy about that. Caitlyn wants to go down mid. Like Caitlyn's being a baby, right? So just let her be a baby. It's okay. Okay, baby girl. Here, I'm going to just go on the dragon. I'm going to pink, right? But also, my goal is generally to sort of... Make sure we can get the objectives. I didn't have smite there, so it was a bit risky. I'm going to try to get out if I can. Maybe I'll just tra trade for a kill. And we're generally just going to take that as what we can. Honestly, I had no smite. Jarvan being there was a bit of a sad coincidence. But it's okay. We get our items and we're going to... My ulti cooldown didn't go on cooldown because if you ulti someone before they die, that actually doesn't go on cooldown. It's a really cool interaction. So my game plan here is to just go top side. See if I can maybe create some volatility on the opposite side of where they're strong i in my mind so like the way i shut down like really fed carries like this is on rank side i really just wait for that flash cooldown so what i want to do is i want to fight away from where the person's really strong so even though maybe i could kill like kaylin right not kaylin but maybe i could sort of kill here i'm gonna r just to kind of gap close and really chase him because now i have my tunnel up i can just go on him again which is really cool. And here I think we can just pressure a bit. <clears throat> I don't think I'm going to dive her, but I can just... Actually, maybe we can dive. I'm going to just chunk her. Maybe not on this wave, but I think we can dive on the next wave with Jax, right? That's my idea. I'm just going to play towards where I think there's possibilities. Also, I think, you know, this is warded, but there's camps up here. Gwen is basing. She's probably going to base in that brush. I'm going to peek his red just so I can understand. Okay, he's on red, but he can't stay on red. You see how I'm pushing him out completely of this side of the jungle? Really powerful for me. Here, I think if this guy goes in, we can kill. Speed up, knock up. Go on the driver next. Go for the AoE knock up. This is what we're talking about. Really emphasize on that AoE knock up. Really powerful tool. 
I think a great deal of power in her is understanding your angles. Like when I really pay attention, I'm really playing around, you know, getting these sort of like angles for my AoE knockup. Really powerful. Very important. And I really want you to focus on it. You can't easily get AoE knockups if you right click. You have to press W for them. So if you've been struggling with like, oh, I can't knock up so many people. You, start, you need to start practicing pressing W to knock up. That's an ability. <clears throat> That's a simple like iteration of her. Like very important. Here I'm going to try to get on her fast. Stride breaker. Very easy. Not much mechanics honestly. Just do the knock up combo. It's really simple. It's really simple. Here E max now. Actually didn't put one extra point but it's okay. It happens. Here I think what they are trying to do is contest us here. Which I think is just very su suicidal kind of thing. I'm going to go on them here. A we knock up again. Right. Very important. They might try to fight us. So we're going to re-knock up and go on the Jarvan. Right. Very good. Very nicely done. Look for those knock up angles. Multiple targets. Two is just really nice to do. If you get two people in the fight, really good. Sometimes I readjust myself and I move like a bit closer so I can get a better angle. And I always press W, guys. Practice, practice. <coughs> I think a good way is to just practice while you're you're sort of like jungling. So here, for example, instead of right clicking, I'm just going to press W so I can get my fingers sort of like comfortable with the idea of doing that. That's a big thing for me that I like to do. I don't know why he's on my ground. I assume he's doing it for me, right? It's a bit early to seal my jungle, my man. And here, once you start to get the extra points into E, she's extremely strong, extremely powerful. I should have, I could have based earlier, but I'm so close to my cleaver that I just have a good feeling that I'm, I'm able to sort of get away with the possibility of just farming a bit more and just getting that cleaver at third, three thousand gold. Also, here when we have this tunnel set up, what I like to do is tunnel, and then double tunnel. Right, this is really powerful. And here we're gonna stride breaker and just kind of kite around. If she uses her abilities, we can always R, but if we don't need to R, we don't R, right? Our R is... Once you tag them with one auto, for example, you have so much time to decide on pressing ult that it's really not that bad to just really try to see if you can save it. Here, we're going to think about our items. I think blue is really nice. I, I like to go blue orb on a lot of champions right now. I really just don't trust my support to like really be warding well. So I always have blue orb and that's a big thing about me. I really like it for dragons to make sure I, I generally am really sure about what the situations are on objectives, right? Because if you're doing well early, if you're the good jungler, you should try to be playing around objectives as well. And also you should know when you should be not, you should be trading objectives and not dying for them. So here, I think fighting for dragon is really good. This is where I'm talking about really, we need to really kind of shut down oh i just got bunny hop there that was bad that was bad that was bad i should not gone on thresh i thought for sure we could kill but thresh is actually quite tanky that was a mistake we don't want to do that right we don't want to and this is what i'm saying like we want to get on that target who's really going to hurt us and that's most likely going to be the kaiza this game we're going to think about boots and i think merc trez is really good here This is some good Murktraz, Murktraz. Even though Tabby's is good in, in a sense too, I think if I get Chain CC'd, I might die. So I'm gonna try to avoid that. But also I think I'm gonna destroy Kaiza once I have Flash. So that's like my mindset. So giving Dragon there would've been a really good thing. It would've been good. I should've gave Dragon up there. That was my mistake. But I'm gonna think more about that for the next fight, right? That's all, that's all you really can do in League, by the way, is really think what it is you can do later, right? In the next fight. In the play after and stuff like that. Here I could go on the Thresh, right? But again, if there are too many people here, I don't really want to take a high risk play. I'd rather play safe, but also getting the wave here is really easy for us. I'm not going to give up. Getting the mid tower would be really big here. This guy actually did not 
have the right to do that. Here, I'm going to kite it out a bit. Play around my E cooldown. The Kaiser just rapidly destroys me. Next item is going to be Sterics. So here I can go Merc Trust or I can get the Sterics by. Whichever is good for me. Whichever is good for me. I, I just like to get the Pickaxe now. Pickaxe now because it's a really good timer. I will kill the Kaiser, by the way. Eventually, it's eventuality. Uh, eventuality, I will kill this Kaiser. But it requires the flash because her mobilities are really insane. So I'm going to eventually do that. And I'm going to be able to do that very easily. I think the rest of the team is really weak. And I also, the only one I think is, has... The only one I think can help me in this game is going to be the Varus. So I need to play around Varus a bit more. And I also think this is a really good fight if we can fight here. Here we're going to go Jarvan. He's kind of anti and he doesn't know how to drive the Herald. And that's beautiful. One thing leads to another. Remember, the game is all about... It's always going to be like this. You're going to notice is it's all sort of like a chain reaction. It's all a chain reaction. This Lux is crazy, by the way. Using all her juice on me. But now they're trolling. I'm too low to like back them up here. They're going to keep committing. But Kaiser Art, that's really good. We can maybe kill. Oh, that's beautiful. Here I can R. I'm going to flash out. Knock up. If I got my E off there, maybe a, a kill, but that's actually huge. We got the Kaiser, so it's really big. It's really big in... And then item wise, like I, I Sunder Sky, you could try to go earlier, but I personally think you it's just good at fourth item. And then like with a DD or like MR item, that's like your full build. This is what I find to be effective. I think if you do this build in your games, you're gonna climb like you've never climbed before. I think it's really good. I actually think Rexai is worse the higher you go with how she is now, but I think she's really good to climb. Her and Briar, I think, are some of the best junglers to climb with right now. As a jungler, you should really play what's really easy but effective to play. In this game, I don't have flash, so I have to watch out for Kaiza again. That was really big for us, you know. We're gonna we are going to get stronger, so we just have to wait for our opportunities. And it's okay to give up dragons if it feels like the dragon's too hard, right? Like I don't necessarily need to fight this dragon. I could always make a play topside, for example, killing Gwen. Like, it, it's not like you always have to lose the game for one objective. But if you think you can win the fight, it's more about do you think you can win the fight? Personally, I think they might have used all summer, so I think we can win the fight here. No flash on here. That's really good. Go on the Lux. Reburrow, knock up, and then easy kill. I'm going to try to get another knock up. And then we're going to go on the Gwen here. So if you want to Gwen here, I'm going to knock her up again. But I actually don't know if we have the damage. So I'm going to try to get out. Varys, that's all you, baby. That's all you, Barry. That's all you, baby. That's a clean ace. That's how we win, baby. That's how we do. Efficiency, brain, brain, intelligence, 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 intelligence. They have crabs. I'm just finished dragon. Very important. Earth dragons are really broken. So here, I'm going to make sure we do this. And then once I get Sterics, I will have a lot better angles to sort of, you know, just kind of play the fights. So you're not going to assassinate one shot like everyone. That's not how Rek'Sai is now. You're really about just living and killing and knocking people up as much as possible. And this is like a big thing about playstyle that you have to adjust to. It's really about getting really good knockups and doing your combos. Your E damage is really good. You have a lot of tools in your kit now that makes you a really powerful team fighter. Your regen is really important. As you see, when I go into team fights, a lot of my play style is going to be sort of me going burrow, doing a combo, knocking up, retaking a tunnel. Like, this is really the play style you need to incorporate. Bye-bye, <laughs> Kaylin. And it's very crucial. So here I have the Sterics. I'm really happy. You're, you're like, Nori, what about Sweeper? I don't think Sweeper is worth it. I don't think it's good. You can do it for Baron control, but... 
I think pinks are just much more effective at what you're trying to do. So here I'm gonna check if she's on it. She's not on it. Okay. I think one shotting thrush is easy. I think going to Kaiser is really good. So I'm gonna go on this guy first though. Kills, right? They're all about kills. It's all about picks, it's all about kills. You want to play that playstyle effectively. Very effectively. Here I'm tracking a bit just to see what's going on. First of I don't think we can do Baron. I think we need Varus if we're going to do Baron. Also, I don't think we can go on them. Checking their jungle camps, being a little annoying is all good. I did proc my Sterix. I'm going to R the Kaiser just in case. And but we we're able to kill theirs. That's really good. You see how I, I, I R'd even though like... It, like if you are right before they die and your R is going to go on a 10 second cooldown. So you can have it right back up. Sometimes I do it just in case. I'm like, okay, maybe this person could flash out 1 HP. So my R will kill. But if he does die, then... Well, if he does die, then it's... My R is back up in 10 seconds. I do that a lot. Once you mark someone with a spell or your Q or smite, pretty much you have five seconds to decide on whether to R. So you have a lot of time to R. It's always going to show the range, which is really cool. And yeah, here we're in a really good position. We want to push with Baron and you just want to get whatever component you need. Here we said Sunder Sky, so let's go. I honestly like getting the HP, the Tunneler component, because as the game goes on, you just want to be a bit tankier, because Rek'Sai scales off HP. My my passive is going to be healing 623 HP, really good. And I, I like doing this, I, I do this build, or I go tanky, right? Like, these are your options. You can do Stride Breaker, Cleaver, Dead Man's, like, MR item, if you're, like, low budget. I think these are like your, your good options. So here, we're tracking, right? I can easily go on this person, but I want to see if Kaiser's coming. Kaiser's a more primary target. So I want to go on Taiga, Kaiser. I'm going to R her so I can continue the chase. Try to flash in and get the knock up again. And really annoying. I mean, this guy's never going to kill me. I can just reburrow. Look at the regen, right? Look at the regen. Look at the regen. Very high regen. I still have my cleaver. I'm gonna do the AOE knockup now. Boom. I mean, I'm never dying, right? Like, it's just insane regen. Here, we're gonna track him. You can see the mark, the indicator of the knockup on him. So, you see the mark is timing out. You can just go and knock up once it's done. Very simple play style, very important when you're playing her. She's really scaled. She's super scaled. Like, she's super late game heavy now. The regen just has insane ability scaling. Scales off 20% of your max health. Personally, I think they need to nerf this. I don't know why they have like the super like desire to make Rek'Sai passive healing like the most insane thing ever. But yeah, they do. So that's just how it goes. Here, I really want to start breaking outers. If you're trying to win the game, you have to start breaking outer towers. It's just a fundamental part of the game is to just break these outers. You as a jungler, if your champion is good, Rek'Sai is extremely good at doing it. You should just be doing it. Here, I just don't mind if she tries to all me. I'm just going to wait out her R and then I'm going to go on her. I'm going to try to dodge it and then... I'm going to wait till she's low and then I'm going to R if I can. I'm going to E backwards to start proccing my regen again. She might go in with the QE. I'm going to bait it. Wait a bit and see. Maybe Varus will do it. Size up that. E backwards. Really kite here. Thresh no flash. Let Renata tank all that. Ooh, ignite auto. That was no match for it. You know, very, very, very strong champion. Very good regen. Very good everything. Very strong. She, once the next patch comes out, all her bugs are fixed, thank god. I think you're going to have a really amazing time. So yeah, she's a great champion, and this game's not over. It is over. I hope you guys liked the video. Be sure to like, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next video. Good luck in your games. And yeah, good luck on the climb.